Hello everybody and welcome to Bird of Passage. The music's nice to begin with, but I think after a while that'll be grating. I don't know what this is. Yes. Okay, so this just asked me, are you from Tokyo? Yes indeed. Even if I doubt you would recognise the Tokyo I used to know. Do you live in the outskirts? I tend to roam the entire island. Lately I've returned to explore the city, parks and gardens are my favourite spots. I downloaded this game like over a year and a half ago, roughly, or something like that. Um, and I haven't got a foggy so what's going on. I'm loving it. I've become obsessed with a few species of plants. I spent hours looking at them, their colours, the shapes of their leaves, the geometry of their branches. Oh. And why do you like these plants so much? Some plants are almost immortal. I feel connected to them. I deeply admire the resilience certain plants manifest. I like walking around the gardens. I like walking around the gardens. <laughs> No profound stuff with me, just I like gardens. Nature is the only thing that keeps changing while remaining exactly identical with itself. I find comfort in looking at the very same tree season after season. You'll always be able to predict the shape and colour of the leaves, the direction of the branches, the texture of the bark. So nothing changes, you say? What else do you like about the gardens? The peacefulness, the people you may encounter, the colours, the peacefulness. I don't know what's going on, by the way. I don't have a fuck yes, I don't know diddle about this game. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. I don't know how long it is. I don't know if there's anything to it. I don't know if there's anything that jumps scary. Anything. I don't have a fuck yes to what's going on with this dang game. I love taking care of my plants, even if now I can only observe them. Yes, gardens are a peaceful place. Do you like plants? Not particularly. Awkward silence. Can you please pull over? Sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Koki, why am I glowing? Oh my god, what is this? What am I, if that is me? What is this? What the foggies? What the flip-flop? What the... Huh? Another taxi? I'm sorry, what? Really? What the flip? And the music just kicked back in again. Greetings, thank you for stopping. Hello, sir. Let me ask you something first. Sure, good. Do you like plants? I really do, sir, and I'd love to talk about them, but this is a silent taxi. Oh, I see. Can you please pull over? Of course, sir. I don't do silent taxis. That's fine, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. What the flip is going on? I'm so lost. What? Okay, I'm going for another taxi now. I'm not looking for a taxi driver that likes to talk about plants. What is this? Oh, there's another taxi driver. What is going on? Nihon taxi. Japan taxi. Actually, no, even then, that's wrong. It's not Nihon, it's Nippon. Oh, oh, never mind. Hello, hello, sir. Welcome on board. Thank you. Where do you want to go, sir? Oh, right. Just drive, please. Hmm, rough night, sir. One of the many, unfortunately. I'm sorry, dear, that, sir. My nights are endless. I suffer for insomnia, sir. I used to sleep so well, I remember falling asleep in the garden. Those were indeed the most peaceful days. Did you enjoy sleeping outdoors? I loved it. It was such a privilege to be able to sleep under the crowns of so many trees. I felt protected by them. In autumn, they would wake me up gently pouring upon me a drizzle of leaves. It was a delicate gesture, almost like an innocent tickle. You really loved it. In summer, they would cast their generous shadow, allowing me to rest beneath them. But then everything changed and I don't sleep anymore. I'm restless now. I can't go on like this. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really. It's not your fault, though. Please stop the car. I need some fresh air. Sure. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. What is this? What is this? It's called Bird of Passage. Am I supposed to be the bird? But what's the passage? What's going on? Hello. Hello, sir. Is this a silent taxi? No, sir. Good. Where shall I drive you? I'm not sure yet. I've been here for a long time, but that doesn't necessarily mean I know where I want to go just yet. Are you from Tokyo? Wait a minute. Yes, I'm going to change my answer. Yes, I am, in a way. I come from a lost version of Tokyo. How do you mean lost? Literally, the city in which I was born is no longer on the map any longer. Hmm. That version of Tokyo disappeared into a void. There are witnesses that can confirm this. I say, what kind of witnesses? 
Really says that I've seen and experienced the devastation that took place. You mean survivors like you? Maybe. But they belong in a museum. I don't. I mean old things. They're no longer just things. They've been reshaped by history and they are artifacts. They carry a story. Why well, has the taxi stopped already? There we go. Just imagine what you can see through a pair of eyeglasses from that time. The extent of the disaster would be clear. They're formed by the heat, the lenses cracked. Nonetheless, they survived. They'll tell you the story of their owners. Now they embody their last memories. What memories? Ruins of fire, destroyed buildings, twisted train tracks. It's the story of an earthquake so powerful that the seismograph broke down. Oh, are you talking about the Great Kanto Earthquake? I am. A mighty blue sky welcomed our morning. It was the perfect weather for a Saturday. When was it? It was the 1st of September, 1923. That's the day I died, together with thousands of other people. I wasn't alone by then. I am now. How is this even possible? I'm stuck between two worlds. The only way for me to leave this world is to find closure. I've come to the conclusion that taxis are the right means to do so. Taxis? Yes, I believe so. You see, I transport people around while filling their scope without asking much in return. Taxis are enablers. Tonight you're helping me find something very dear to me, my path. I'm happy to oblige. Thank you. Would you like to tell me your story? I'd love to. The story begins like this. I was in the garden. Oh my god, this is going to be long-winded, isn't it? Jesus. Okay, here we go. Buckle in, people. If you made it this far, you can listen to the story while I talk it, say it, narrate it, explain it, whatever. Here we go. I was in the garden, holding some seeds in my hands. That's the last shard of my past I recall clearly. It's funny how I remember being alive thanks to the mundanity of my last action. Just another Saturday in a vast collection of Saturdays. Late autumn is the right season to plant your ginkgo seeds. Not summer, so I had to put them away, you see. Saw them in a dark place. And then the earth beneath my feet began trembling. Fissures ripped the ground, everything crumbled. All of a sudden something hit me, hard on the back of my head. Huh? What happened next? I fell on my knees. Facing the back of my garden, the seeds rolled away. An aftershock pushed me to the ground. I died shielding the seeds in my body. My very last thought was dedicated to them. Do you think they survived? I really hope so. It would mean everything to me. Given the magnitude of the events you've described to me tonight, I really don't know what to say. I know. You don't have to say anything. I mean, I don't want to sound tragic. I know what you're about to say. Please stop. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you, but you see, I meant please stop the car. Oh, huh, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so have I got to reach the end of the story, the real story? to finish this game. Is that what I'm getting here? Because if so, I'm going to be here for pissing ever trying to find the right things to say. And no more I'm going to end up in many silent taxis as well so I can't talk. Hello sir. That was pointless. Go on, Bennett. <sighs> okay, here we go again. Doesn't really matter. Hmm, it kind of. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay. So where do you want to go, sir? Drive me through the night. I have no clear estimate. Many insomnia passengers tend to soothe their minds by travelling at this hour. I see. As if we transport one place to another. Could facilitate the flow of thoughts or alleviate their pain. Damn it, Red Bull. Travel to unravel, as they say. Precisely. Does it work? As far as I can tell, sometimes it does. A couple of times I had to wake them up and I felt terrible about it. How can I wake up a person that suffers from amnesia? Anyway, since this is not your case, you don't mind asking, what would you do to my taxi so I know? It's hard to explain why is that? The politeness of the drivers. Oh! It doesn't matter how weird and disjointed my story may sound, I never felt judged on a taxi, not a single time. That's part of my duty, sir. Especially during the night, I've got so many stories and confessions I could write a book about them. But it's not, so it's not just me, you say? No, sir. Even if I must admit, your story is particularly intriguing. 
It really depends. Sometimes people just need an audience or to be reassured, you know? Other times they just want attention or maybe to chat a bit. It takes the pressure off, I guess. Indeed it does. What's your story, sir? Are you curious? I am. Good. I need a curiosity to solve my mystery. My story begins like this. I was in the garden holding the seeds in my hand, so far so good. It's funny how I haven't been like things from day of my actions. That's pretty normal, I guess. An investigation of Saturdays, what about the seeds? Seeds, uh, platinum, and September you don't, dark blaze, can go seeds, please go on. Then the earth pin, my feet like to crumble, yeah, we've heard all this bit before, back of my head, that's terrible, found my knees. The seeds have all the way. I died to um, my that's interesting. Why do you find it interesting? Because from what you just told me, it looks like the protagonist of your story has switched roles. You were the one holding the seeds, and now you are the one held in this limbo by the seeds. You die protecting them, I guess you have to find out what happened next. You're right, that's the interesting bit. You should focus on understanding the role of the seeds in all this, I think. Very well then, I must focus on the seeds. What? At least that's my advice. It sounds reasonable to me. Now I need to think alone. Do you want me to pull over? Yes, please. You've been very helpful tonight, thank you. I'm always happy to help, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so this isn't about me saying the right things to make the story progress. The story progresses more as the game goes on. The more taxes I get into, the more the story unfolds. Okay. That makes some liquor that okay, it doesn't make any lick of sense, but I think I'm starting to get it a bit more now. Hello, hello sir. This is Sign Taxi, no sir. Good. Where shall I drive you? I'm not sure yet. I've been living for you for a long time, that doesn't mean I know where I want to go just yet. Are you from Tokyo? Tokyo was shattered a long time ago. Shattered. It crumbled to pieces. It was going to blink. I didn't. I see. I died with and within my city. Huh? People were preparing lunch. As the earthquake struck, the stones were on. The shockwaves were so powerful that the water pipes burst. Fire spread fast through the city and there was no water to extinguish them. I see. How did you cope with such memories? I've become obsessed with a few species of plants. I spent hours looking at them, their colours, the shape of their leaves, the geometry of their branches. Oh, I might like these plants so much. Some plants are almost immortal, I feel connected to them, why is that? I mean, you don't have to worry about how much time you have left, everything slows down. I perceive time differently from you, I'm guessing a tree would too. At a certain point, I decided the millinery trees would be the answer to my questions. I went on and visited one of them, in... Oh my god, Sasura Goka Hachimangu? Manga? Mangai? Mangi? Something like that. Did you find the answers you were looking for? Not exactly. I felt less lonely though, I felt a connection. But I'm still here. What kind of connection? You see, these plants have lived through history in a way. I did the same. They've seen a lot, haven't they? They have. For this reason, I look at them with different eyes. I deeply admire the resilience certain plants manifest. No matter what happens to them, they resist. What type of plants can do that? Well, ginkgo trees. Some of them survive the most lethal weapon man has ever created. They're called... Hibakujimoku. Scientists were certain nothing could grow again in that area. Ginkgos proved them wrong. Hmm. You seem to know a lot about ginkgos. I spent almost a century studying them. Ginkgo, as it was written today, shouldn't even be its name, if you say so. It was misspelled. A German botanist romanized the original ideograph in Ginkjo and then misprinted it as Ginkgo. Ginkgo literally means silver apricots, and people often think it refers to the shape of its fruits. But technically those are not fruits, they are seeds. Ginkgo seeds are like silver apricots, we can agree on that. It also goes by the name of, I see, I'm sorry if I'm boring you, it's just your seeds are always on my mind. Not really, but thank you for asking, my pleasure. So do you know where you want to go next? Not at the moment, just pull over please, sure. Thank you, have a nice night. You too, goodbye. Bye. I'll try different options now because at some point this has got to end. Because <laughs> Jesus, I still don't get this game. I honestly don't. What is this? Taxi? There you are. Oh, hello, blue one. That's new. And that's empty. Thank you for stopping. Hello, sir. Let me ask you something first. Sure. Good. Do you mind if we chat a bit? This is a silent taxi. Oh, I see. No, thank you. That's all. I'm afraid I don't do silent taxis. That's fine, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. God damn it. Silent taxi number two. Ding dong, damn it. 
His music starts to get annoying as well. I don't think I can see my mouse, but I'm literally just waving it about. <laughs> There's not much else to do. A black taxi. Jesus. Let's go. Hello. Hello, sir. I'll go on board. Thank you. Oh, right. Uh, I could give you an address. Thank you. That's all I need. But you wouldn't know where to find it. Huh? So, are you dating my knowledge? I think I know this city well enough. Not at all. Quite the contrary. I'm lying on you completely tonight. It's just that, you see, time has a bizarre way of affecting the structure of a city. That's for sure. Things move around, new buildings appear, old buildings disappear. One thing is knowing how to find an address, another thing is knowing your city inside out. That's just one of the many reasons why I rely on taxi drivers to find my path. You know how to look into every nook and cranny. You don't mind me asking, sir, why do you like taxi drivers so much? I still remember the first six taxis. I mean, the new hybrid models. No, I mean the first six that ever had the privilege of riding the streets of Tokyo. Huh? Oh, no. I'm not even gonna bother trying to read that. Hell no. I wanna learn Japanese, but that's a bit far beyond me right now. That's how we called them back in the day. It's more vehicle for general passengers and travelers. However, as you can imagine, it was too long, too complex. So shortly after, we just started calling them Takushi. Taxi. Excuse me, what year are we talking about? Well, that's easy. It was 1912. 1912, of course. At the time, I didn't have a need for a taxi, so I never had the pleasure of riding one of those six. Damn it. I remember them clearly, though, as newspapers covered the event thoroughly. It was late July. I think it was the first taxi ride from day back to 1921. An early adopter, we may say. Then everything changed, but it surely did. We were talking about a century ago. Eleven years later, the earthquake hit. Eleven years later, 1923? Are we talking about that earthquake? Indeed we are. That's my turning point. Nowadays, I can only make sense of my erratic wanderings if I'm riding a taxi at night, only at night? Why is that? There's almost no traffic at night, now that I'm in Russia or anything. The city is simply more peaceful. As a taxi driver, I can tell you that for sure, the traffic is much better at night. It's lighter. Also, people want to be driven all the way home, not just to a nearby destination. I guess it means more money for you. It does. It's not just that. I love to exchange stories with my night passengers. They're always willing to share more, like me. Exactly. Well, thank you for sharing your knowledge with me and driving me around. That's okay. Should I pull over, sir? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? I don't get this. What am I doing? Why is my guy just randomly hopping between taxis? What's going on? Uh, for God's sake. Hello. Hello, sir. Is this a silent taxi? No, sir. Good. I just like drive you. I'm not sure yet. I've been living here for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've gone from the last version of Tokyo. I had to be lost. We've seen these before. If we get something new, I'll just. <laughs> what makes it still alive actually? Is it? It is. Can you keep a living witness in a museum? It's not in a museum, this one is a tree. A tree? What kind of tree? You went in any garden really. I like walking around gardens. And they keep changing my mind everything else by itself. Yes, 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 yes. Colours. Trees are just ginkgo, cats are that large and poplar, redefine the very concept of yellow every autumn. I've never seen anything more yellow than that. It's so pigmented that it could dye the sky. Just imagine the sunlight coming through the dense foliage of these trees. Beautiful. More than that, it's a spectacle I would never grow tired of. Once I met a man, he wasn't from here so we couldn't talk. His name was Palomar. Stunned by the sharp and luminous yellow of the ginkgo leaves, he stared at the gentle dance they make as they fall from the highest branches. I didn't want to disturb him, so we stood together in silence, as if hypnotised by the slow tempo of the leaves' descent. Years later, the very same ginkgo leaves finally stopped their free fall, thanks to him. They landed in a world that exists only in words. Hmm. If you want to find them, you have to wait for a winter's night, but this is another story. It's getting late now, thank you for the ride. You're welcome. Shall I stop here? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so a lot of the options kind of loop back to things that I've already read or seen before so (sighs) 
I'm not sure if there's anything else that I haven't clicked yet in terms of dialogue. My camera's probably going to die soon, but I want to finish this, so. I don't want to do a part two of this, I want to see an ending. Even the camera does die on me. Okay, I know what to try. Let's try. If the other options I think are the right ones, there seems to be some sort of pattern. To the dialogue. I think I need to start from the Tokyo ones. If what I'm seeing is right, then... I need to get out of the car. Because I need to get into one where um, I start talking about Tokyo. It talks about trees and nature quite a lot, so... If I can remember the options to get to where he talks about the trees. He says there's um he says about a witness is still alive, not him, he says a tree is still alive. Oh, uh, which one was it? I think it was the last version of Tokyo. What kind of witnesses? Okay, witnesses, yes, this is right. Uh, what is he still alive? There's a tree, a resilient one. They are fascinating plants. Their fossils are an ancient version of the ginkgo leaf that date back 270 million years. This means the ginkgo trees were already here when dinosaurs were on the earth. Fascinating, they are tall, strong, majestic trees, I'd say. At the same time, they possess an inner delicacy, and there is nothing more delightful than the little fan shaped leaves, especially when they turn from green to yellow. I never thought about that. They are indeed very tall trees. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you for listening to me. That's all for tonight. I don't want to bother you with my stories any longer. Can you please pull over? So, no bother at all. Here you go. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. I think that's pushing us in the right direction of talking about the trees. I'm not 100% sure on that. Now, this should be a silent taxi, I think. I could be wrong, but I think this is a silent taxi. Yeah, silent taxi. This is a silent taxi, is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you, that's all. I'm afraid I don't do silent taxi, that's fine, get out. Bye! Okay. I really feel like I'm on the right path here. I really feel like I'm on the right path. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. <laughs> I want to finish this pretty soon. Please, please, please be right. Please be right. Uh, if all the clues are there and I've got it right, I'll be happy. Uh, okay. It's not, it doesn't really matter. I don't need the time travel thing. I need, because I don't want to go back into the past. Just drive, please. So, I don't need sleep at all. Depending the place, taxi, more of a wanderer. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm a bird of passage that desperately tried to migrate between two worlds and got stuck in one. You're very kind, thank you. And yes, it would definitely help. I was going to go and find some seeds in my hands. Yeah, okay. Let's see on this bit before. Da 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 Okay. What do you find it interesting is what I picked before. But this I'm going to put, what are you implying? Look interesting to me. Why is that? Because ginkgos are known to be strong trees. Here we go. Oh, so them long enough, they are quite resilient. Do you have any examples? One in particular. A ginkgo has survived the earthquake. The same aspect that killed you. The very same earthquake, yes. It held everything to the ground, but the tree stood. It burned, it survived. See, what else do you remember of that day? I remember it was the 1st of September, people were preparing lunch. Yeah, okay. We 
tonight. There we go, I did get it right, because before, the only options were yes please and no thank you. Now I've got the option, now that you know what happened exactly. What do you think? Uh, me? Yes, do you think that's even possible? Do you think my ginkgo seeds might have survived? Well, tonight you told me that these plants are quite resilient. One of them has even survived the same earthquake that killed you. It did. If you ask me, I said that yes, it is possible. More than that, I believe we will find your ginkgo tree. It drew its plant deeply where you once found your knees, its branches viewlessly reaching for the sky. After so many years of struggles, you will finally stand beneath your ginkgo with myriads of tiny yellow fan shaped leaves falling upon you like a solemn rain. Do you really believe that? I do. Nobody ever believed my story, nobody ever took the time to really listen to me. Nobody ever nurtured the seeds of my tale until you did tonight, and it has made all the difference. You have finally given me closure. For this, I cannot thank you enough. Oh my god, the tree! You're welcome. As a taxi driver, it is my duty to bring you to your destination. I think we are here at last. Wow, indeed we are. After all these years, I'm here again. You are home. I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have I done it? Please tell me I've done it. I think I have, I think I've done it. It's quite a journey as well. Oh my god. He can finally move on. After all them years. I've done it. Oh my god. That was an experience. Holy hell, that was good. It was really simple, but really good. The sound grated me a little bit after a little while. I've been doing this for 50 minutes, so yeah, after a while that does start to grate me ears a little bit. But it weren't bad. Taxi. Oh, okay, turn back to the front menu. Good story. You have to piece the clues together. You listen to all the dialogue options, sort of piece it together, and eventually you catch on. Oh, that was good, that was. That was good. If you want to play this yourself, just look online for it, you'll find it. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, let me know, and if you want to, then sub, see more stuff, random games, stuff that I play randomly, here we go. <laughs> and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye!